the relationship between coffee is is a long and apparently a contented one. Um, European culture and coffee culture are ubiquitous. You don't, you know, most parts of Europe that I've been to, uh, and more so now than ever before. It's coffee goes with everything. It's you know, coffee and motorsport watching, coffee and darts. Co- you know, well maybe it's beer and darts, but like it, it isn't something that's particularly remarkable. Uh, but here in North America, coffee culture has only grown in the last in the last 20 years, and in, in kind of in the same in stride with uh, with cycling and my time in cycling. Uh, I do I do think there's maybe for people that got involved in cycling when it was a bit of a counterculture activity uh, or a europhile activity uh, that you know obviously you'd get into the coffee because that's what you'd see the pros doing having their espressos the cafe de columbia riders having their espressos before the stage of the tour or something like that and um and you're actually maybe less likely to get laughed at at an italian espresso bar wearing tight clothing and click clacky cleats than uh than at a regular uh, than at a tim hortons i mean there wasn't a lot of places that were that accepting of cyclists, but you'd usually do better in a place with a European, sort of a European feel. Um, you know, the coffee shop is often where people will meet before they go for a ride, and then the midpoint of the ride they'll have a coffee and some snacks to refuel, and then maybe at the end of the ride. So it's definitely like, a, on the one hand, a social thing. In the mornings before you go riding, you get together with everybody, have a coffee, get a bit jacked up before you roll out. And then, you know, at the midpoint of the ride, it's somewhere to stop, um, and refuel with some some uh, some snacks and that kind of thing, and, and again, kind of refine your en- energy with a bit of caffeine before you head home. So there's a social aspect plus you know a practical aspect in terms of uh, in terms of somewhere to stop and have a bite to eat. Uh, coffee has always been a part of my family's life because I was uh, my mother was lucky enough to spend some time in Brazil early in her when she was young and so she brought back a love of coffee that was unusual shall we say for uh, a, a very Anglo um, for her sort of very Anglo background and uh, so it was always around for me so it wasn't something that was particularly unusual to have espresso or to uh, to have good quality coffee and to not buy it at the supermarket to buy it at a specialty place so that was always a part of my life growing up. Uh, myself uh, I guess I got uh, I was exposed to coffee through cycling actually uh, when I started racing uh, a couple of the guys I rode with uh, were on the jet fuel cycling club and uh, and so we started ha- hanging out at the coffee shop and that's how I started drinking coffee really yeah Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, definitely in races, towards the end of the races, when you kind of, you know, the last, let's say, 50K, the last hour, um, if it's been a long day, you're kind of tired, and you need to you need to hone your perception and pay attention. The caffeine can definitely help with that and kind of give you that little boost to, uh, to get you to the line and do a good ride. 